The audio menu is easily accessible by tapping the audio meters on the record, monitor, and playback screens. From this panel, you can manage up to 12 digital channels via SDI input, eight digital channels via HDMI input, as well as two analog channels via XLR or mic slash line in. Atomos meters measure audio in DBFS, the same measurement scale used in most DAW and NLE software. Zero dBFS represents the maximum level before clipping occurs, and our meters show both peak and RMS values for incoming audio. For monitoring audio, there are two display types available. Vertical always displays two analog channels with eight digital channels next to it on Ninja, while the Shogun 7 displays 12. Horizontal displays the two channels you're actively monitoring. The audio sources these channels correspond to can either come from the line in on the device, the audio from the camera embedded in the HDMI signal, or an external recorder. Not all Atomos devices support phantom power. Please check atomos.com to see if your device does. Audio inputs only get detected by an Atomos device if it's receiving a video signal at the same time. Monitoring. Each channel has a level meter assigned to left and right channels. When there's an active audio feed, you'll see the level indicator moving. To monitor a particular audio channel, tap the headphone icon corresponding to the channel you wish to monitor. Only one stereo pair can be selected at any one time, although all channels can be monitored at the same time visually. You can adjust the headphone volume here using the scroll icon in the headphones track. Recording. Unlike monitoring, several audio channels can be chosen to record simultaneously, and selecting the headphone icon for a channel does not mean that it will get recorded. To record a channel, you must tap the rec icon corresponding to that channel, which will cause the icon to turn red, meaning that this channel has in fact been selected to record. Multiple channels can be chosen to record at once. Tracks that are selected to be recorded will have colored audio meters. Audio Embed allows you to embed the analog audio channels into the digital signal, so that when you output the video signal over HDMI or SDI, this audio is also output as part of the digital signal. Options will depend on how many channels of audio are coming in. A Ninja 5 paired with an Atomex SDI module can record 12 embedded audio channels, instead of the usual 8 channels of audio when using HDMI. Please note that if analog audio is recorded, it will be placed as track 1 and 2, with embedded audio moving to 3 and 4. If analog channels are turned on but no audio is present, in many video players you will hear silence, as they often just play the first stereo pair. In an NLE, you can access all the recorded tracks. On Shogun 7 and Sumo 19, audio can also be boosted by 15, 18, 22 or 24 decibels from the Audio Out Boost feature. The next menu is named differently across devices. It's called Mic Line Menu on Ninja 5, Analog Menu on Shogun 7, and Audio Options Menu on Sumo 19. The meters display the audio levels for the left and right channels of analog audio. Use the plus and minus icons to adjust the gain applied to the left and right analog audio channels. Audio Delay. This option allows you to delay the analog audio with respect to the digital audio so that it is in sync with your video source. You are able to adjust audio delays by whole frames. The audio delay does not apply to monitoring an HDMI or SDI output of the analog audio that gets embedded into the output feed. It only applies the delay to the recorded file. Audio In. Tap on Audio In to select the level that matches your input. Available options are a line level, a mic level, or a pro level. Not available on Ninja 5. Analog gain can then be incrementally increased or decreased individually for both left and right channels. It is not possible to vary the gain if the signal is from the HDMI or SDI connection, as this is digital and it is embedded in the signal. So if recording from the embedded audio from the camera, you will have to adjust those levels from the camera. Calibrate allows you to measure the HDMI video delay from a camera and delay the analog audio input to sync with the incoming video signal in the recorded file. Calibration steps. Connect the Ninja 5 headphone output to your camera's microphone input via a 3.5mm audio cable. Press Calibrate to detect the delay between the camera sensor and the Ninja. Press Accept to complete. 